What's up guys, I'm gonna teach you how you can import one of these images into Minecraft for easy building like you can see in front of me right here. We've started building on Octane and how we did this, um, the image on the bottom, that's what I'm gonna teach you today. So let's go. First of all, we're gonna need to download a few programs if you don't have them already. First one is Sprite We're gonna use this to change our image that we have of the blueprint into a pixelated format and then MC Edit can see and import into Minecraft. So if you don't have these two, look in the description, there will be a download link to both of them, Spycraft and MC Edit. For Spycraft, make sure you download the full version. It says you have to pay for it, but it's actually free. So just click on the full download link and it will be awesome. Once you've downloaded and installed these two programs, you're gonna need the image that we're gonna import into Minecraft. So for this example, I'm gonna use the map Rust, which is a Modern Warfare 2 map. It's quite small, so it's perfect for this tutorial. So actually the first image is actually the perfect one I was looking for. You wanna look for the image that looks like this. It's more of a bluish color, blue-green, and it just has the formation of the map. Perfect lines, you want a high quality one because you're gonna need it. Um, you're gonna downscale a little bit, so we're gonna go into that later. Um, so you just want to get this picture, save it to your desktop, and we can import it into Spritecraft. Once you have your image, you want to go to Spritecraft, you're going to run the jar file, which is this one. Make sure you have the full version again. You're going to see this window. Now, this is the main screen, here you can set some settings, and we're going to go into options first. You want to make sure top view is selected. This is because if you're going to select side view, when you import it into MC Edit, it's gonna put it on its side and you want it to lay down, you want it on the top. You can change it, if you put it on side view you can just flip it and MC edit. But just to be easy we're gonna use select top view. And these are some more advanced settings which you can use if you wanna like use separate colors, like you don't want this color, just deselect it. And we're not gonna go into this one right now. Um, so here you have your thing, you're gonna press browse, you're gonna search for your image which is the rust layout for me and you're gonna have it right here now what you're gonna use the only thing you're gonna use are these settings down here this is selected by default so you want to make sure you deselect this and this is gonna have uh, a standard value of 30 I guess but this is different for each image and each map so what I always do is I start with like 200 so I'm gonna put 200 in both of them I'm gonna press create Minecraft blueprint it's gonna give you a new image right here and you can actually see the blocks this is like wool iron wool you get my point so once you do this you want to basically see how big this is so for example on rust what I know is I want to create this gap I want that to be about two blocks so people can walk through and the most easiest thing to do with that is just pick like a door like this one and make it too wide Depends on the door because this one is probably three. This one is going to be two. So what you want to do is you want to play with these numbers until this matches the image you're going to create right here. For example, this this is too big. 200 is what I put right. Yeah, I actually played with this already, and I guess that 120 is perfect number. So I'm going to look at it again right here. You can see that this thing has two blocks in between. And you're gonna walk through here which has a door so maybe this is a little bit too small and like I said it's per map so each and thing it's gonna be different don't copy my numbers um, so like there's gonna be a door of two here which actually fits so this is this could be a nice one but I'm gonna set it to 130 just to check and see if that looks better but it still has two now this is a little bit bigger which is nice and two hair for door. So yeah, I'm gonna pick this number and three easily fits there. This is perfect for rust. I know this looks kind of blurry and you still don't really know what is where, but you have perfect sizes for it. You don't have to do it manually and this is perfect. As you can see, this is the wall, perfectly square and here's the thing, it looks amazing. So yeah, what you wanna do is when you got your perfect size, you can do save schematic. I'm gonna give it a name. So for this one, it's rust. I'm gonna save it to uh, wherever you want. I'm gonna save it right here, Rust Schematic Files. Save. There we go. Now you can exit out of this, exit out of this, and I'm gonna go back. And now we're gonna go into MC Edit, which is right here, and open MC Edit, which open in a different window. One second. 
Come on, load. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna load our world, um, which I made a test for right here. Let's see if it loads. Come on. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh my god, this doesn't even have... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's chunks are not loading. So now we're gonna go into import and then I'm gonna select my thing again. Here's my Rust schematic file. Then you can basically place this on the floor and it doesn't really matter, there's nothing here. I'm gonna, for example, I'm gonna place it right there. So there, don't change anything, import it. It might take a while depending on the size of your map. And here you go, you have your amazing schematic into Minecraft. So now you can use upload this to your server, whatever you're building on, maybe single player, it doesn't matter. And this is basically it. And if something is not right, you can just adjust it. Like, this may be too small for me. Oh, no, 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 this is two, so this is perfect. And two here. So now you can just import this and build upon it on the map. And that is basically what I do for each map. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Leave a freaking like rating if you've enjoyed this and if I helped you. Uh, remember to share this. Write a comment, subscribe to me if you haven't already. It would be amazing. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.